EA Sports, and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From breathtaking Pebble Beach, California, it's live third-round coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Beautiful weather here in this early February fixture for golf fans. And if you're locked in winter's vice grip, well, this represents a bit of hope on the horizon as we check the leaderboard. Our leader is indeed our featured golfer. It has been a textbook performance to this point. And that should be just fine. Good drive there to get the Saturday round underway. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. Driver typically not the textbook play here, but executed to perfection, leaving a short iron for the approach. Okay, not particularly close, but a chance for the putter to do its thing. Iona Steven is at the first green. This for birdie. And it's so important to get this one rolling up the slope with just the slightest movement from left to right. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that'll take her now to 28 under par. Frank, interestingly, this hole number two plays as a par four for the US Open. It is a par five. It's absolutely gettable and players must take advantage. Certainly, Rich, off that back tee, uh, really you've got to grab a driver. I know there's bunkers left and right, but the decision is whether that tee shot finishes in the fairway, because if it does, you're gonna have a crack at this par five and two. If it doesn't, then you play the layup. That one going to be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. Now a big spot here for something good. This is a short second to the par five. of that through all the way there and got it to stop home in two on the par five this one just about straight at it for eagle oh yeah it is a dream beginning to the round a birdie at one now an eagle here at the second how about three under through two holes just getting started. This is a pretty hole, the third. 397 yards, just a gentle dog leg to the left. And you do have the option. If you're longer, maybe you just take it up over those trees and cut the dog leg, leaving yourself very short shot in. Or you play it out to the right, have a little bit more in, but still certainly with a good chance at birdie. Eagle on the previous hole, just swing easy and just strikes another one. You playing with house money? From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Huge drive off the tee now in the driver's seat, sitting in the fairway and a chance to get it close on these small pebble beach greens. do just fine coming off the eagle this for birdie okay nicely done that's in for birdie here at three and that's going to get her to 31 under par well this is where pebble beach starts to look like pebble beach in all its glory and magnificent beauty it's only 333 yards off the tee, you can hit driver. Maybe make an eagle, knock it up on the green. We have seen guys do that. Or you can play it safe, long iron off the tee. Either way, you're thinking three at four. <laughs> mm. 
this a tee shot that fits the eye and that'll be just fine simple little wedge shot where is it Frank yeah, it looks can be deceiving here rich this is such a small grain it's only 24 yards deep and there's such a big pitch back to the player that Almost got to drive the ball in a little lower and make sure it doesn't spin. Otherwise, it'll come all the way off the screen. Yep, heard that nicely. That'll work out just fine. This is shade better than 50% on the make percentage. It's for birdie. Yeah, that's a well-played hole. It's a birdie here at four. And with it, she'll move to 32 under par. So here we are, Frank, the fifth hole, the first of the four par threes at Pebble Beach. It, it doesn't get all the love that some of the others do, but this one has the player's attention. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, it certainly does, Rich. Everybody wants to take a picture, you know, down by the seventh, uh, 17th hole, famous par three. Remember Jack Nicholas's one on, but believe me, I think this hole is every bit as tough as 17. This one has a chance to be close. Yeah, very good shot. Taking it in right of the hole and a good look upcoming. Now this for another birdie. Wow, just a pair of target. Those are the ones that will drive you crazy. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Well, this is where the excitement starts to build early in a round at Pebble Beach. I know it's the sixth, but you're coming into possibly one of the greatest stretches in all of golf. This is a 498-yard par five. Goes up the hill, Pacific Ocean in the distance. Chance to make an eagle here and chance to feel really good about where you're headed. Huge tee shot on this par five, and it really opens up the hole. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Wonderful tee shot here. Biggest challenge is you cannot see the pin sitting on the green. You're going to have to pick out a point along the edge of the cliffs to get the ball online. Two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, think about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Well, this is the one you dreamed about, isn't it? Just a little baby wedge that kisses the clouds and drops softly on that tiny green here at the seventh. You and your maker, there's nothing better in the world than to be playing the seventh hole and playing it well here at Pebble Beach. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. A lot of movement coming left here. This for birdie. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And she's going to remain right where she is. From the famous par three seventh to the equally famous par four eight. Frank, what a hole. It is, Rich, and it starts, in my opinion, the best three consecutive par fours in golf. Uh, this one's a little bit of a blind tee shot. That white rock that's just up ahead, uh, that's your line. If you hit it over the right side of that, your run out is about 250 yards. If you go a little left of that, got another 20 yards up your sleeve but do not go further than that 
No issues here. That is into the fairway. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Aggressive off the tee, ball lucky not to run out of fairway and into the ocean, but now sitting in an ideal spot with access to the green. Well, no surprise. We've already seen some great iron shots this week, but that is another one. Chance now for another birdie. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. And that's going to get her to 35 under. The thing about Pebble Beach is it's easy to lose focus, stare off at the horizon, the Pacific Ocean, and all that beauty that surrounds you. But then you remember, and I'm playing the ninth hole here. This is one of the hardest par fours in the world. Pay attention. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Well, when you find your ball in the fairway at the ninth, you hit a great tee shot, one of the most difficult fairways to hit on the entire golf course, but now it opens up the opportunity to hit a great second. This one's looking good. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10-foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Nothing to it. Well done. It's a birdie here at the ninth, and that is going to wrap up one of the best front sides you'll see, a 26-9 under par. Hope you're enjoying this little stroll along Carmel Bay and the golf is as good as the view. This 10th hole is 444 yards. I would tell you that it is the widest fairway at Pebble Beach. It is, but it doesn't feel that way because of the way it slopes left to right. And if you're not careful, this one can get away from you and head toward that Pacific. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here and this another fine tee shot. Second shot now from right at 100 yards. And here at the 10th, with the iron in hand, and hits it stone cold close. A great opportunity here for birdie. Well done there. It's a birdie to kick off a back nine. And that's going to move her to 37 under par. Impressive. Well, this is where Pebble Beach changes significantly. We're going away from the Pacific Ocean now, up the hill toward the forest, Frank. What do you think of the 11th hole? Well, it, it's tricky, Rich. Uh, number one, because it's blind, as you've detailed, but uphill and it's sea level, so that tee shot's not going to go that far. Um, there is a run out down that left side, just inside the tree line there. That's about 308 yards, but you're not going to go that far. Um, so, so really, this you have to respect this hole. Just hit a fairway fine. Steeply up the hill here. This is going to play very long. Absolutely can do no wrong. Dialed in, and that is an eagle, and this is a spectacular round of golf. And now we arrive at the 202-yard par 3, 12. Best to work the ball right to left, landing as softly as possible on one of the firmest greens at Pebble Beach.
Tell you what, I've enjoyed watching this display all day long. We hear the phrase in football, ball control. It applies to what we've seen here from this player. That is an outstanding display of ball control. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And she's going to take it to an even 40 under par. Amazing. Here we are at Pebbles, 13th, 401-yard par four that some consider a bit of a breather on the course. Birdie is definitely a possibility here. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. So this, Iona, her second from the fairway. Yeah, she's left herself 120 yards to this flag. Pin on the right-hand side, so plenty of room to the left of it. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10-foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. And she'll move even further under par. Frank, the 14th hole, par 5, it is one of the most difficult par 5s in championship golf, isn't it? It certainly is, Rich. Not just because of the length of the hole, 570-plus yards, but um, reachable only really by the longest hitters in the right conditions. But it's the third shot. I, I've got to rank the third shot as probably the hardest short wedge shot um, right up there with the 15th hole at Augusta. Uh, solid. Good drive in the fairway. Frank, a chance here to get home in two. A chance maybe to do what Gary Woodland did on his way to winning the 2019 U.S. Open. Yeah, Gary hit a great three-wood, but um, I don't even think he was trying to hit that on the green. You look at that big gaping bunker left and short of that green. You would think that's to be avoided, but no, no, no. That's actually where you want to finish up because it's such a hard pitch shot. There's no point laying up. If you can get it in that front bunker, it's a relatively simple splash-out shot. One of the few times you want the second shot Inside down. A chance for a great round to get even better. This or Eagle. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an Eagle three. Superb. Next up, the 393 yard par four 15. Tee shot in the fairway gives the players an excellent shot at birdie, but be careful losing it right onto that 17-mile drive. Once again, another great tee shot. So I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. That's the benefit of really bombing a tee shot down. It sits up a simple little chip and a break. And that one finished off. It's a birdie here at 15. And her score will get even lower. Incredible. We now begin one of the most beautiful stretches of finishing holes in all of golf. The march to the sea at Pebble Beach, starting with a 400-yard par 416. Key here, carry the island bunker. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. This Nota, her second from the fairway. 115 yards left, hole cut right in the middle.
with the sand wedge. And boy, does this look good. Now that's an excellent shot. Inside that 10 feet circle, a little long, a little left, but still good. Side of the hill now, this for her birdie. Ah, that a pure roll there. That is down for a birdie here at 16. And with it, she'll get a stroke back. Well, here we are, 17th hole, and this is where you can make your mark on the sport. Frank, so much history at this par three. It's just a great hole too, Rich. You know, that hourglass shaped green on the angle, but, but you're right when you talk about history. You go back to 1972, and this hole played into the breeze. It was a one iron for Jack Nicklaus. He said one of the greatest shots he ever hit, actually hit the flag stick, nearly went in. And of course, one of my favorites is 1982. Tom Watson had missed this green to the left, and the late Bruce Edwards was his caddy. And uh, they were looking for options because they were in such a perilous situation with the US Open on the line. And Watson said, well, what about if I just hold it? And if you look really closely at the footage, as Watson starts to run across the green, he's pointing his finger back at Bruce and saying, I told you so. And then just a few years ago, too, Gary Woodland hit a chip it on this green and made through. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And she'll stay right where she is, well under par. Well, here we are now at arguably the greatest finishing hole in golf, 536-yard par 5. Pacific Ocean, massive fairway bunker stretching more than 100 yards on the left, and cypress trees, just a few of the things you need to contend with. It's a rarity on the PJ Tour, but a perfect 14 for 14 off the tee. This has been a marvelous exhibition. Well, this is straight at it. It's a real good line. Frank, it is one thing to stack cars in a sport car, but Eagles, this is an incredible performance. Well, well, I'm used to birdie feasts, but eagle feasts? I didn't think you could do that. Come on, another eagle on the round. And this will wind up being an impossible 52. I've never seen anything like it. So a final look at the leaderboard, and this has just been a runaway so far. Our featured golfer, miles in front, with 18 left to play. I'm still scratching my head trying to find the difference between, you know, a featured player and the rest of the field, but it's just better off the tee, better approach shots, better putting, uh, different league. So for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay the third, and Diona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour Golf.